On behalf of Project Hope Alliance, I would like to say thank you. Thank you, St. Andrews, for moving 84 children out of homelessness during this Extend the Family time period. And thank you for allowing for us to optimize their education, stabilize their homes, and give them the skills that they need to make sure that homeless children don't become homeless adults. And you have shown them how much God loves them. Your missional commitment to being the hands and feet of Christ to children in our own backyard is making a tremendous difference. Through St. Andrew's Church, I was introduced to Project Hope. Project Hope has allowed me to mentor three beautiful brothers. What I try to do for these boys is we meet with them weekly and try to give them a little stability, wisdom, and make them laugh a little bit. When I meet with the boys weekly, I have noticed so much stability in their lives, their behavior, and also with through their mother. Their mother is so appreciative of the time that I spend with them. But I gotta say, I am so appreciative of the time they spend with me. Hi everybody, hi St. Andrews, we love you so much. This is Pastor Joel Amonde. I am the Executive Director of Agongo Seed Academy. Agongo Seed Academy is a school of 1,350 children. We got involved with St. Andrews three years ago. Through our partnership, we have now built the old campus in, uh, permanently. We thank God so much. We thank God for the extending family program. Uh, St. Andrews helped us to construct our school. Uh, we used to have 500 children in our school, but right now, because of the buildings, now the number has gone up and many, many children that would have not got their chance to get education now are being educated. May God bless St. Andrews so much. God bless you. We love you for the help you are giving us. Hello to our St. Andrews family. It's a lovely summer's day here in Cape Town, South Africa, and we're so excited to share the progress we've made in the last nine months of church planting with you. We had an exciting two months with two um, vision evenings that, that we had in October, one in Belleville in the middle of December. We saw over 50 people attending that with a bunch of kids as well. And then the second one where we also saw more than 50 people attending and some of them um, were our friends that we've been inviting for, for numerous events that we held as a church, but for the first time they actually showed up. So we were really excited about that. We then had our first preview service this last Sunday and um, it was a great time of um, trial and error and just practicing for, for all our volunteers and core team. So you can pray with us for our next um, preview service coming up on the 11th of December and um, that a lot of people would come to know Christ at that service. So from our side that is it. May you have a beautiful and blessed Christmas time. Bye. beginning of this year we gave you an update on the digital ministry initiative and I'm excited to say that in April we launched our video sermons online as part of the initiative and since then we have been averaging about 200 people per weekend watching the videos half of the people are from our church community and half of those watching have no association with the church whatsoever and they're from all over the world and in this next year, we want to continue to grow our digital ministry initiative by launching an online campus. We want to live into our values as much as we can online. So what that means is we're going to be as relational with people as we can be. We want to connect and engage with them and offer them the same materials we offer you here on the church campus. So as the theme of extending the family comes to a close this year, we look forward to next year and our new vision uh, for 2017 and what it means for the Digital Ministry Initiative.